said over 40 years, you've curated some significant principles. You've published numerous books on, on the subject. You, you particularly focus on your clients that are high net worth and many who are in the process of or have exited businesses. And so you've really created, I think, some really sound principles regarding uh, helping them, which can apply to anybody, I think, today. And I think you and I have a somewhat similar philosophy, at least that's why, that's why I follow you. Your most recent book, Stay Rich with a Balanced Portfolio, uh, that book is about you know, keeping the money you accumulated, focusing less on, on growth, but more on you know, having the security and the peace of mind that one can maintain through the volatility that we're seeing today. And I think we're going to see for the near term and maybe longer term. Can you espouse on some of those, those principles? People that have a liquidity event, they're smart people, don't get me wrong, but they also confuse themselves sometimes with being wise because they haven't really been through a lot of things where you had to really understand how to manage money. And so for us, we've always said, look, if you want to, if you're going to be balanced, you're going to have to have two sets of money. You're going to have to have what we call base capital and investment capital, and you can't mix the two. The base capital is the one that you say, okay, look, I know I'm not going to make as much money on it, but the worst comes to worst, this money is going to be there. And if I need that to get across the river, you know, on the other side of the valley, so to speak, uh, then I'm okay. And so we've always, that's always been what we do. And I think what happens with people is they get caught up listening to other people. You know, I'm making this amount of money in this real estate deal. I'm making this amount of money in this private companies, in the stock market, et cetera. But if you look at Michael Stoen, I don't pronounce his name exactly correct, I'm Tiger 21. He will tell you that most business owners, after selling a company, and this is high net worth to ultra high net worth people, they return about 5 to 6%. That's his number. When you get caught up in this idea of you have a good year, a couple of good years in the market, you think, you know, I, I think I can do 12. You probably can't. I think you have to have a portfolio balance. And I always think about the downside. What's the worst thing that could happen? I've always said in sports or in business or anything else, defense is number one. And so from our standpoint, we always play defense first. And every account we've ever lost usually was because we weren't aggressive enough at that time for those people. And and that's okay if that's what they want. I'm just saying that's how we set it up. When we go through really bad times, we really don't get hurt very much. And, And I think that's a big key to it all. You know, if you look at markets where the markets are down like 50%, 2003, down 54%. I think we were down 10. I'm not, I don't have these audited, but I'm just saying you have to be willing to play again. People get caught and they, they're in the wrong things, especially nowadays. A lot of people are in all of these alternative investments that are illiquid. Not the stuff that you're doing with a real estate you can go see and kick the tires. I'm talking about things that are their fourth party removed. They don't have any idea what it is and they certainly can't get out. But we see a lot of that now and it's, it's, it's pretty pervasive. I think that's going to be painful for them. 